Very thrilled to have Ian McKellen join us this morning. He is back to reprise his role as Gandalf the Grey in The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smog. Good morning to you. Good morning, Jody. How are you? I'm doing fabulously well. This is a, a true career highlight to speak with you. I'm such a big fan of not only oh, the Lord of the Rings movies, but also looking forward to see the latest installment of The Hobbit. Gandalf is by far the most impactful of those movies. It makes my heart pound just to think about this character that you play. How do you keep reinventing this particular role and going back in time with him? Yes, uh, 60 years younger than when you last saw him, but uh, <clears throat> he is 7,000 years old, so what, 60 years here or there? Uh, I, I just um, thought we'd have more of the same, and it's, it's, it's the same Gandalf that um, uh, people remember from Lord of the Rings. Um, what keeps it fresh for me? Well, the story, of course, and lots of new characters, all the dwarves that people met in the first Hobbit movie, and Martin Freeman leading them as Bilbo. What I rather rather like about it is that it's familiar territory to me and uh, beautiful New Zealand. Shooting green screen as well as on location in New Zealand as you mentioned, how is that for you as somebody who has really come from the stage and then the big screen, the, uh, the silver screen days and you've really come into the CGI? Well you know uh, a lot of acting is about dealing with technicalities and when you're on a stage of course in a sense you're acting in front of a green screen it's not really a castle that you're in when you're playing Macbeth it just looks to be a little bit like one but it's just painted scenery so the idea of acting in front of a green screen doesn't really matter but if you see Gandalf on top of a mountain I was there lifted up by a helicopter with the rest of the cast you know the, and that is the real wind blowing through my beard and uh, and the sets and, and, and and the, the Wellington Studios are, are some of the most amazing I've, I've ever been on and very, very realistic. Middle Earth is a very real place, uh, very tangible. Thank you and for taking the, us the to the top of that The technicalities of having to shrink the dwarves down and make Gandalf look bigger is another matter and uh, not very pleasant for the actors and again, uh, it, it's very technical. Tell us about that, because I did read um, one of the uh, interviews that you gave about how frustrating those little knives and forks were for you. <laughs> well, there, were, there, there was a day, my first back on, on The Hobbit, when um, I had to be separated out from the 13 dwarves I was having the scene with and put into my own set, which would make me, through technology, look larger than they. Uh, and it meant that I could only talk to them through an earpiece, and, and, and I couldn't actually see them. Uh, they were just represented in front of me by their faces on top of poles. And, each uh, face lit up when they were speaking. I had, had to pretend they were there. There was a lot of pretense going on. And um, meanwhile, they were acting without me in, in their own set. And the two pictures are put together, and magically, uh, Gandalf looks big and the dwarves look smaller. I want to ask you about what you were doing on Broadway with Patrick Stewart, another favorite of ours here at Breakfast Television. Well, you know, funny you should say that. We're, we're doing two plays Waiting for Goddard by Beckett and uh, Harold Pinter's wonderful, thrilling comedy uh, no man's land four parts in each and and uh, uh, two American actors and we're, we're having a ball but we, we meet the audience afterwards who want autographs and so on and ama it's amazing how many people have come down from Canada especially so uh, I would like to encourage people to do that if they fancy a, a break in, in New York we'll, we'll be here till um, till the spring you are a hard-working man <laughs> yes that's about it really yeah well, we will come and do a visit with I'm you. Not, I'm not bored then because there's always stuff to do, isn't there? But, uh, uh, you know, at my age, a phrase I, I, I try not to say more than once, uh, y to keep uh, busy is, is a very good way of keeping healthy, I find. And uh, there's nothing like retirement for um, uh, dimming the senses and uh, making you feel that life's over. Well, I don't want to get to that stage yet a while. Well, we love that at your age, quote unquote, that you're being dropped off on tops of mountains by helicopter and playing Gandalf. Thank you so much, Ian yes. and Helen, for being with us. We appreciate it.